Motorola modems use LED lights to communicate their operational status and network connectivity. Understanding these lights is the quickest way to identify internet or Wi-Fi issues. The power light is the first indicator to check. When solid green, it means your modem is properly powered and ready to operate. If the light is off, there's no power reaching the device. Downstream and upstream lights show your internet channel activity. Solid green indicates a single channel connection, while solid blue means bonded channels for high-speed internet. Blinking lights indicate the modem is scanning for channels or in the process of channel bonding. The online light indicates your internet connection status. Solid green represents DOCSIS 3.0 connectivity, while solid blue indicates the newer DOCSIS 3.1 standard. A blinking light means the modem is attempting to establish an internet connection. Finally, the Ethernet LAN port light shows your wired connection speed and activity. Solid green indicates a one gigabit per second connection, while amber shows lower speeds between 10 and 100 megabits per second. Blinking indicates active data transfer. This comprehensive LED status table shows all the different light colors and their meanings. Understanding these indicators will help you quickly diagnose any connectivity issues with your Motorola modem. When your Motorola modem isn't working correctly, Follow these systematic troubleshooting steps to identify and resolve the issue. Step one, check all cable connections. Ensure your coaxial, ethernet, and power cables are securely connected and undamaged. Step two, restart your modem. Unplug the power cable for at least three minutes, then reconnect it. This allows the modem to fully reset and reestablish connections. Step three, check with your internet service provider. Verify if there's a service outage in your area by visiting your ISP's website or calling their support line. Step four, perform a factory reset. Press and hold the reset button on your modem for about 10 seconds. This will restore the modem to its original settings. Step five, consider removing cable splitters. Some connection issues can be resolved by eliminating splitters and connecting the modem directly to the cable outlet. Step six, contact ISP support. If problems persist, especially with refurbished units showing Wi-Fi issues or random reboots, reach out to your internet service provider's technical support team. Keep in mind that the broadband industry is rapidly evolving. New technologies like Wi-Fi 7 and expanding fiber networks are changing how modems operate, so staying informed about these developments can help you better understand your equipment.